Hello and welcome. Silray is here with World of Tanks. This is T34 and 3. This is a tier 8 premium Chinese medium tank. I have had this for a long time and I just haven't played it much. So I thought, eh, let's take it out for a spin. And then I find myself in a position which I have never played on this map before. Yes, I suppose. I suppose it's one of those things where you're like, can I actually do this? Can 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 this work out? When 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 you are like me, you're not very good at the game and you haven't played all the positions on all the maps and so forth, you don't really know where you can or where all you can go and how you should react to various positions or or when those positions start changing on the map and so i end up here because i'm like hey i know i can shoot down this this long line here long firing lane and there seems to be nothing right well basically to the east of me which wanted to stop me from coming here yeah. can i actually play this position uh, apparently I can get a little bit of work from here, but not much. Because it seems like I'm running out of targets already. Well, there is one more. Driving into that firing lane and... A little uh, stopping me from doing stuff, but I get a little fire. Get a side shot here. So that works out. And that's somebody else. Hi there. Uh, would you like to drive a little forward? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, now I am spotted. That's fine. You're you're now blown to pieces. And this is this is where the issues start happening when you're kind of in unfamiliar position, you just have a bunch of targets and so on, and, and you get completely and utterly tunnel visioned, and I don't realize that there is like multiple tanks now to the east of my position. Right? In the E7 square is where they last were spotted. So I'm just here trying to trying to shoot at things and then, you know, not seeing that there is somebody over there because I wasn't really paying attention. Th thankfully I got, got lucky enough that I was <laughs> I essentially pulled further into this position and now I'm like, wait, somebody over there. And they shot my engine out and I'm not gonna repair that. I'm just gonna poke a little and then pull further here. Until I realized that, hey, I am gonna get shot at from that particular angle as well. And this is this is the sort of territory where you're like, well... I am in unfamiliar position. I haven't played this position before. At least I don't remember having played this position before. And so I don't know how to compensate for all the angles or what all the angles will be. Because I haven't really been here before. So... <laughs> This sort of stuff tends to happen, um, at least to me, and if it happens to you, then my re recommendation, play the damn position. That's the only way you learn it, right? That's the only way you'll figure out when you get here next time, then you know, oh, I, can, I will be shot from there, and I can shoot down there, and maybe I can shoot over there somewhere as well, and all of these things. And now I'm getting shot at from all angles while I'm trying to focus on that side. Which is a little unfortunate, but it is it is going to be happening. It is going to be happening. I'm almost dead here. And I've dealt a little bit of damage. Not crazy amount, but a little bit. Now, if I if I had a bunch of support here, this seems like a, it could be a decent position. If I had a bunch of support. But... It does require a bunch of support to actually play this position, methinks. Because as soon as uh, the enemies push one side through, they can just basically come and farm me here. I don't know if I want to play this position in the future, but it was an interesting to try to see if I can play that and I can sneak over there and whatnot. And hopefully you learned uh, that there is, you know, if you come here, you're going to get shot at from multiple multiple angles as well. Okay, let's jump into another another game. So game two, and this is this is a map I know better than the previous one. Like I am a little more familiar 
what you can do on this map or where you will be getting shot from on this particular map. And so the, I am going for a forward position here again, but at least in here it's more deliberate. I'm like, well, I am going to go there right away because I can kind of know or rather I kind of know instead of I can kind of whatever. You know what I mean, right? I kind of understand and kind of know what I'm getting into, unlike on the previous map. So, you can probably guess what is happening here. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to the right, and I'm just gonna go over to fight this thing over there. And sure, I'm going to take some damage going in, and but that's fine. We're, we're just gonna go over here and start doing doing some work. And I've lost most of my hit points getting in here, which is very likely to happen. But now I am over here. I knew what I was getting into. I knew I would go get shot at. Didn't know I was going to get shot at three times, but I knew I was, was going to get shot at. Okay, so uh, reminder at this point, I probably have said this at the beginning of the last episode as well, just to clarify, just to make it, make it clear to everybody. These are being recorded from the replays, as is hopefully obvious. Mostly when I play this game, I play a couple rounds here and there, and I don't want to set up my recording stuff for a couple rounds here and there. I'm like, wait, where is everybody? Where did everybody go? I was expecting to see somebody at the corner. So can I push a little further now? Because I do have some support here on this time. There is the Object 274... Uh, 274A whatever whatever thingamajig and, and so on. Then I have other tanks here. Unlike last time, I actually have some support. And that uh, SDRV is, uh, is a tank I'm really not very familiar with yet. Of, like what, what they can do. And that was a real nice snapshot right there. I was really lucky with that one. Real lucky with that one. So I am just poking here, trying to, trying to keep people busy and hopefully maybe spot somebody. Don't have the crazy amounts of view range on on this tank or anything of the sort. But eh, well, I can try. And I'm this is where I'm kind of hoping that the friendlies would actually stop hiding and all right, so I got spotted by something and would actually push this corner. So that I could actually play as well. But now I know where this thing is. Hi there. Look at that. Look at that. That got really lucky. Bloody heck. I got lucky multiple times in this game so far. <laughs> Damn. Okay, now they are now they are pushing the corner. Now I can now I can go further. And there is something else in the back there. Hello. Okay. I am gonna wait. I'm gonna hold on this. That's not really a tank you actually, far as I can tell, far as I know, having played actually played through the Panther 2 way back when, I don't think you can actually do that in a Panther where you really poke your butt out and hope to, hope to you know, tank shots into the butt of your tank. Unless you're just trying to use your hit points. I don't really think that works very well. And thankfully it's only using the well, it only has 240, 240 alpha damage coming in. Although the first shot was 280. Wait, is it 250 or 240? I don't remember at this point. It's been so long since I played that that tank. So, so long. But I'm kind of hoping that it pokes its head out for me to actually finish it off. And I'm gonna blind fire the bush. Didn't get a shot on. Shot off. Can I? Can I? Can I? No, no, maybe, maybe, maybe. Where was it? Yep, there it is. Nope. Okay, there it is. Armor not head. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. Let's reload into an HE shell and let's see if that uh, high explosive splash can finish this off. And then it starts driving backwards. Bloody well. Stay still, let me finish. Okay, never mind. I was kind of hoping that I would be able to try and see if I can plonk a high explosive shell into just into its gun and if that would finish the job. That would have been interesting to find out. But eh, whatever. And I got spotted by something. 
which I have no idea what that was or is. Oh, it got spotted by spotted by something, 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 and. And as you can tell, this, this game is going a whole lot better by now already. I have some support here, and 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 uh, also, I kind of knew what I was getting into on this map, as I mentioned. Unlike the previous map, which I have played very little of, and that position I was in, I've never played before. Whereas on this map, I have played that forward position, I took a, a whole bunch more. A whole bunch more. And let's back up this guard on its uh, quest of conquest. I'm trying to... I'm just trying to create a uh, different firing line here. To where, uh, compared to where the guard is. So that if something like this happens, I can, I can hopefully back up the guard, but unfortunately I could not. Hi right there, you're going to come after me, aren't you? Yep, you are. Means I am going to try and put you into the vision of a friendly, although friendlies are going for it already. And there you have it. There is there is this particular game. Now, if you compare the two, like I said, uh, in the first one, I kind of was out into the unknown for myself at least never played the position and now in this one yeah i took a whole lot of damage and uh, going in but i also kind of knew what i could do or what i was getting into what i could do from that forward position if the enemies had been even more aggressive they could they would have denied me that and on the conversely i think if friendlies would have been more aggressive we would have taken over the entire corner a little bit faster then, even then, it worked out. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that was enjoyable.